And we're coming to you almost live from our studios right here in Southern California. Yes, and today our beautiful chef is back with us again. And we're so happy because we've had so many questions coming in. And your questions are going to be on the top because you already sent them in. And we're going to put that right now. Here is Sheikh Mohammed with us all the way from Egypt. Mohammed Salah, Salam Alaikum, Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Wa'alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh Yusuf, and welcome back. And in the beginning, I want to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me the opportunity to resume uh, being hosted by you and presenting my regular programs as well. And secondly, I want to thank all the viewers for their amazing support and beautiful du'as and supplications, particularly you, Sheikh Yusuf. While I was in bed, while I was totally unaware of what is going on around me, my family showed me your beautiful post. I uh, couldn't resist my tears, and I can tell you right now, I don't deserve that. Allah May Allah bless you and your entire family. Well, I'm going to agree with you. You do not deserve that. You deserve a whole lot more. <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you so much for sake of Allah. But also, really, when we're, we heard the news, we said, oh my goodness, because your whole family, and that was so much. And then when your father passed, I, it was like a day that I just couldn't get my head back together. Uh, uh, I, I, know I know all of us are going to die. die. I, I, mean, I mean, this is something, is something obvious. We talk about it all the time. But when, when somebody, somebody close to you, like this, and, and uh, you're, you're close, close to me, so, so when, when your father, father passed, passed away, away it's like, like somebody, somebody really, really close, close to me, to me. even though I only met him like, like three times. times. And I remember each time. And I think, subhanAllah. But alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, because of this COVID, there's, There's a lot of people who are going to get the martyr status that didn't even think about it before, inshallah. Is that right? Well, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the sound hadith, Al-Maqtoon shaheed, wal-Ghaqtoon shaheed, wal-Maqtoon shaheed. When he once asked his companions, whom do you guys consider as a shaheed? So they say the shaheed in the martyr is the one who dies in the battlefield, defending his faith for the sake of the Almighty Allah. Then the Prophet ﷺ said that means the number of the martyrs in my nation are very few. Indeed, it is not limited to those who die on the battlefield. Rather, one who dies with pandemic is a shaheed. One who dies with an uh, abdominal disease uh, like cancer is a shaheed, is a martyr. Al had no shaheed uh, during earthquakes, volcanoes, or whenever a building collapses in public, people and some people expire as a result of death, uh, is a shaheed. A woman who dies while giving birth is a martyr as well. So the broaden the scope of those who die as shaheed. There are different ahkams though. Because, you know, the person who dies on the battlefield is a shaheed, so we don't wash them. We don't wrap them in coffin. We don't strip them out of their regular clothes. Rather, we bury them as a. Furthermore, we don't even offer the funeral prayer for them. They don't need it. But the rest of the martyrs, due to the sickness, the plague, the pandemic, uh, you know, we require to wash their bodies. Uh, enshroud them and bury them and offer the funeral prayer for them as well. Uh, in respect of the COVID-19 particularly, the Prophet says, in case of any pandemic like that when it breaks out, if people, if Muslims endure that patiently, stay at home, and then they get affected. Whoever endures it patiently, the Almighty Allah will grant them the reward of a martyr or a shaheed. So we do pray for all our Muslim brothers and sisters who contracted COVID-19. And, uh, you know, they uh, 
through their lives and they end up, they ended up expiring. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept them as not MashaAllah, I, I really am happy to hear you share this with us because actually, uh, Sheikh, we, we are, we're human and we are frail. And this is something, it gives us something to look forward to. When someone, uh, for instance, a lady, and she's giving birth to a baby, and this is something very dear, precious to her, more than the whole universe, precious to her. And then the baby passes away either at the birth or a little while later. And she feels so, you know, lost. Even her husband can't, uh, can't uh, console her. Her mother can't console her. People that are always, she just can't be consoled. But then when we give her this information, and I've seen this in the past, that when, that when you give, give that, because I worked in the prisons, prison, when I have to have tell a prisoner, prisoner that, that your dear child, child passed, passed away, away, and then, then they're, they're just really, really upset, upset with that, and I assure them, them that, that even, even though they weren't, they weren't Muslim, Muslim, the child, child is a Muslim. Muslim. And, and so, so the, the child, child is going to be in the paradise. So this is one of the consolations that can console us to feel better. And then maybe they'll even look at Islam too. One of, One of the, the other, other things, things that you mentioned, mentioned and this was very, very clear, clear, that, that somebody is in earthquakes, earthquakes or the big the super fires or forest fires, fires, things, things like, like this, and anything, anything like, like this, this is a, what we call an, an, an act of God or, or natural, natural uh, tragedies, tragedies etc. Et but but it, it, this it also would be qualified for the people if they're believers in Allah, that they would have the status of a martyr. And I think Maybe, maybe it would, it would be, be a good, good chance, chance to talk, talk about, about what, what is the reward or what is the, the, the aspect, aspect of being, being a martyr in Islam, Islam. Starting, starting right, right away with right the grave. grave. You, you mentioned, mentioned by the way, way you, you said, said that, that somebody, somebody passes, passes away who is fighting for sake of Allah, we don't even wash them. We don't do a prayer for them because they have all of this and more already waiting for them. Uh, uh, elaborate, elaborate on this a little bit more. What happens after, after they, they go into the grave? grave? They, they just lay in the grave, or what happens? Well, uh, in the case of uh, the martyr who dies in the back of the field, you say the process is different. It's a very exclusive uh, and a very special case to be handled. And that's why we say there is no even need to offer the funeral prayer. In the case of the funeral prayer, we as believers invoke Allah to have mercy on the deceased, to pardon him or her, to grant them forgiveness, to wipe out their sins. But the martyrdom on the battlefield has already taken care of all that. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, once a person who is a believer and fighting for the truth goes, and he gets injured, which leads to death. Once the very first blood drop, his blood has been shed, it wipes out all his previous sins, all the previous sins. So there is no need to offer funeral prayer for them. Dar shuhada. The Quran talks about those kind of particular shuhada as. ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون فرحين بما أتاهم الله من فضله ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم من خلفهم ألا خوف عليهم ولا هنا حزن So the Ummah of Allah says in this beautiful ayah, third chapter of the Quran, don't you think that those who die for the cause of Allah did Nay. In fact, they are alive in the true life, in the Arabian, with the Lord, in paradise, being provided. And they are very delighted, and they want to convey the message to those who are still behind don't to be afraid, don't to feel sad to us, we are in a much better place. So the Prophet ﷺ explained the need 
of the mothers being alive and in paradise. He says their souls will be in the stomach of green birds, wandering and being provided in heaven all along until the day of resurrection. Then when people will be resurrected, as you know that resurrection has tough names in the Quran. Al-Qari'ah, Al-Tamah, Al-Sakha, Al-Haqqa, Al-Ghashiyah, uh, and all those names of the, the horror of the day, the terror of the day, the, the unprecedented fear that human beings will experience upon being resurrected for the gathering, for the recording, then to be sent either to heaven or to hellfire, except the martyrs. The Prophet وسلم, said that the martyr will be resurrected in the day of judgment, and his womb will be bleeding as if he was just uh, murdered right now. But, but guess what? The Prophet وسلم, said the blood would have the color of the blood, but not the smell of the blood, rather it would smell like my musk. Go ahead, Chef Yusuf. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, rahmatullahi barakatuh. Who is this and where are you calling from? MashaAllah. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, uh, for, for our, our viewers, viewers the, the, that we have we different have viewers every, every night. night. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, it's great, great to hear from you, honey. How, How is everything? everything? Uh, it's fine. Uh, Sheikh, Sheikh. Or, do, do you have, have a, a question, question for Sheikh, Sheikh tonight? tonight? I don't have a question, but I just, I just want, want to tell Sheikh, Sheikh that may Allah uh, forgive his father for uh, everything. And uh, I just want to show my sympathy to him. And uh, I just want to say, Assalamu alaikum. MashaAllah, thank, thank you so, so much, much for that. that. And, and I know he appreciates it, but I'll let him explain to you his, his feelings right, right now. Go ahead, Shaykh. Assalamu alaikum, my respected brother. May Allah bless you and your family, and thank you so much for your condolence. And please include my father in your dua. Thank you so much. MashaAllah. Yes, yes, brother, brother uh, you're in you're Denmark, in Denmark is, that right? is that right? Yeah, Denmark. Denmark, Denmark mashallah. I, I miss Denmark, Denmark so much. much. I, I wish to be with, with you guys, guys again. again. Mashallah, thank, thank, thank you so much for the call and thank you for your duas and just keep up the good work and tell everybody in Denmark for me and for Dr. Muhammad Salah. Big, Big salams, and we are making we're making dua for you guys. We love you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. MashaAllah. This is a beautiful brother in Denmark. He calls us uh, from time to time and just encourages us to keep keep working and keep going and growing. I, I, I love that. But Chef, we have, a, we have a question for you that was sent in the email. And, and uh, I, want I want to put, to put, it, put it up so everybody so can see it, it but I'll, I'll read, read it so that you can hear it as well. And, and uh, here it is right now. now. It's, it's uh, addressed, addressed to the questions, questions for the doctors, for the doctors. Because, because, because they didn't know exactly who would be answering it. It said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hope you all are well. My question is, I was ill in December of 2020 with the flu and I decided to get tested for COVID. And, and it, it was, was positive, positive, so I was, was advised, advised to isolate, to isolate for 10 days. days. I recently had a hospital appointment, appointment and they, they did a COVID test, test again, again as, as a routine, routine and, it and it came back, back positive. positive. But, but I'm, I'm perfectly, perfectly feeling very well. well. No, no coughs, coughs, no runny nose, nose no, no aches, aches, no temperature. temperature. I, I still, still had my taste and my smell and I could not understand what was really was, was really, really, uh, really, really, really upset, upset and worried. And worried. Can, it Can it be explained, explained please? please uh, explain uh, in, in simple, simple words, words how and, and why, and, and am, am I to, I to be, be worried? worried? 
please, please I really appreciate your feedback, feedback on this. this. Now, now uh, I, realize I realize that this, this is a question directed, directed more or less to our medical doctors, doctors but, but because, because Sheikh, Sheikh, you had had recently, your, your whole family, family had the COVID, had the COVID so, so maybe you could tell her somebody is a carrier, but then they will test positive, but they don't feel any problem. I'll let you talk about that. Sure, the test, test and positive does not necessarily mean that you show the symptoms or even some of the symptoms. A lot of people, they test positive without knowing, and they mingle with others without knowing, and they are contagious. They spread the virus while contacting others, sneezing in their presence, talking in, uh, in, in, in a room without wearing a mask, a single sneeze, it troubles with a, an extremely amazing philosophy. It is enough to infect everyone in the room. And that's why whether you test is positive or you did not even run the test, either I'm careful, stay home to the best of your ability. And when you have to go out or you have to mingle with people, keep what we call it the physical distance. Number three, always wear a mask whenever you are around people. This is suspension. A lot of doctors in the field, they test positive. Routinely, they run the test on them for their protection and also for the protection of the patients. A lot of doctors and nurses, they test positive with zero symptoms. So for them, isolate, not because they are sick, but because they may infect others, not because they necessarily need uh, medical attention. They're okay, mashallah, their immune system is very powerful. Or it could be that the variant or the strain that they've been infected with is kind of weak or we got immune to it. But every uh, few weeks, we hear about a new variant, some of which are fake, like the one in the UK currently, like the one in Brazil, like the one in South Africa. And I think you guys in the USA have shut down the flights coming from these places, which is good, of course, as means of precaution. Uh, so if you're just as positive, please isolate and take care of yourself, lest you may affect others. That's, That's highly, highly appreciated, Sheikh, to, 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 to give, give us this, this information, information because, because from your own personal, personal experience, I know that you have felt this more, more, more so than, than, you know, somebody just reading about, about it in a book or, or studying a class or, or you know, yeah. you, you go through something, something, you know what it is, and, and you feel, feel this uh, a lot. lot. So, so uh, I, I know, know that, that there are many of our brothers and sisters, sisters watching, watching right, right now, now because, because I'm, I'm kind of monitoring, monitoring this, this. But, but they want, they want to know how are you doing how do you feel how is uh, are you able to get around and uh, uh, we see you comfortable in the chair but uh, what happens if you stand up <laughs> um alhamdulillah a few days ago i started to uh, get out and resume some of the live uh, programs I uh, used to present, some, not all of them. And uh, I just realized it isn't that easy because the doctors asked me not to leave home and to stay in bed. Go ahead. All right, let me take this call. Uh, let's see. All right, salam alaikum. Walaikum salam, Sheikh. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Who is, Who is this, this and where are you calling from? from? Yes, Sheikh. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, calling from Texas. Ahmed in Texas. Where in Texas are you? Uh, Dallas. Dallas. Okay. okay. Uh, the mid cities, or you're in Dallas proper? Yeah, yeah. suburban Dallas, uh, Plano. Oh, you're in the north part. You know, I used to live there for many years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I accepted I accept Islam, Islam right, right, uh, right, right there, there in uh, Grand, Grand Prairie, Prairie, well, well actually, actually Arlington. Arlington. I, I, I it's on the border almost. almost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's where I accepted I Islam. Islam. Yeah. 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 So well, how's I everything going, Alvin? Uh, Sheikh, I do have a question. I'm calling on behalf of my friend. Okay. Uh, 
he was going through a rough marriage for the past four or five years, and the majority of the mistakes are on his end. Uh, he's at this at the point where his wife has given up and she wants to separate. And wife is doing is tahara whether she should go for divorce or not because she wants to separate but she's unable to make any decision. So what advice you can give for the husband if she decides to separate? How he can try to convince her not to separate because he really wants to make this marriage work. But he just needs time to improve. All right, uh, Chef. What do you think about this question? Is there some advice that we might be able to give to the brother? It would be it would be totally unfair to give a general advice because he's gonna be aware of the core of the problem and uh, whose side the problem is on, and also try to resolve these matters and that can never be achieved unless if you go through marriage counseling with a Muslim qualified marriage counselor and this is exactly what the Quran suggests Allah says in Surah Al-Nisa مُخِفِّمْ شِقَاقَ بَيْنِهِمَا فَبْعَثُوا حَكَمًا مِنْ أَهْلِهِ وَحَكَمًا مِنْ أَهْلِهَا إِنْ يُرِيدَ إِصْلَاحًا يُوَفِّقِ اللَّهُ بَيْنَهُمَا So if you feel the score between them which may lead to separation without the voice of all, then present or appoint an arbitrator from his side and another from her side in order to either try to reconcile because the Quran says if you read that Islam, if there is a chance that they both see that there is a chance to reconcile, then Allah will reconcile. Otherwise, sometimes the divorce is the solution. In many cases, when I was counseling marriage between a couple of having some problems, before I leave, my advice was to them, it's better for you to separate. It is not fixable. It is not going to work out. There is zero chemistry. And they follow the advice. But in many cases, the couple were on the verge of divorce. And after counseling, one or two sessions, they realized that it was minor issues. My new differences, or there was not a, a curtain, a veil, so the counselor, the qualified professional counselor, will remove that veil, will bridge that gap. So that's why it's not sufficient to give you an advice here, not knowing uh, all the circumstances and not hearing from all the parties. All right, uh, brother, yeah, go ahead. Thank you so much. Rakallah, Sheikh. It makes sense. Clearly, uh, I guess uh, my brother needs just to see a counselor and figure it out, inshallah. But again, Rakallah has had advice, Dr. Saul and Dr. Green. Thank you so much. MashaAllah. Thank you so much. All right. Well, now. So, this is. Uh, Something, Something that, that I, like I like to think, think about, about and I and present it, it, you know, you my, know my, my way is always, always a little bit, bit off the, <laughs> the, <laughs> off the mainstream. And, and so, so whenever, whenever somebody, somebody comes, comes to me and says, Yachi, I, I got to talk, talk to you, I have to ask you this question, question. and then they grab you, and you're trying to get out to the car after the Juma, you know, and they're grabbing you, and they're dragging you over there, and they're telling you, I got, I said, okay, how long have you been married to her? How do you know? How do you know? Okay. <laughs> because that's, that's the only, the only thing, thing that will get somebody, get somebody so motivated, motivated you, know, you know, to, to grab, grab you and do all, all of this. this and, uh, so, so I asked him, him, all right, so you, so you have, have a question, question about your marriage. Yes, 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 she does that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I said, okay. I said first of all, you have to bring me a coin. A coin? Why I have to give you money? No, no, no. You have to bring me a special coin. What? What? What is that? I say a coin with only one side. And he says, what? Yeah. He says, it doesn't exist. I say, yes. And that's exactly the information I'm going to give you right now. It doesn't exist because I have to have a two-sided coin because I have to hear both sides of the story. Otherwise, Otherwise I, there's, there's no, no advice. advice. Mm, true. Anyway, that's just crazy me. I like to do stuff like that. 
Well, this is what the Quran says, Sheikh Yusuf, the story of Prophet Sulaiman when he was tested. You know, when he, uh, he thought I made a big mistake because he heard one side of the story, then he passed a judgment. Never do that. Never do that. That's very good. Very good. And I'm as proud of the answer that you gave. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I want to share, you visited our studio before yes. at my office. And we hung around uh, a lot, alhamdulillah. I remember almost 10 years ago, one American sister called and during the program, and she started crying. And she says, I'm a girl, I'm the only Muslim in the family, I married a Muslim God, and then she says, he abuses me, he curses me, and he beats me, because I don't have a wali. So a person like myself in that position, I asked her, what do you think it add then? When I figured out, she's nearby, say, Sister, I'll be more than happy to be your wife. Okay, because I cannot answer without hearing the other body. So you can connect my number, I'll be more than happy to give you a free counsel. So they both showed up. And uh, when they both came to my office, I started off by telling on the brother. I said, Akhi, how dare you curse your sister? Is it because she doesn't have a way? How dare you lay your hand on her? And the guy said, don't do that. Then he said, I swear to Allah, I've never ever cursed her or anyone else. I've never laid my hand on her, never. How could I do that? I said, sister, isn't this what you say? Lie on her. She said, yeah, because of me. Speak Arabic. I'm not sure whether he is insulting me or saying something else. Oh, so you don't know. But he says he curses me and he curses me. She says, well, he sounds like he's doing it. Okay, what about beating you and hitting you? She says, you know, whenever he's angry, like he's about to do it, he never actually did it. He never laid his hand on me. So that's, so that's another lesson that I learned. Now, what, what millions of people have heard was totally not true. true. Imagine if I pass a judgment and I say your husband is cool and he should divorce him, then I would be blaming him before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I heard the, uh, the side of the husband's story, it's amazing. The guy is super nice. The guy is extremely generous. The guy was not even looking for her to marry her. But people bad him because she doesn't have a family. And her family chased her and they sued her and just stood in every position. So the, the brother did her a big favor. And you know, which is just one of the many, many stories I'm sure that Sheikh Yusuf, you uh, as well have thousands of them. Well, uh, maybe, maybe a few. A, few. <laughs> yeah. a, lot, a lot of people, people tell you something. something. Uh, and this, this is, is normal, normal though. though. Well, if, if you've been, been in sales, sales as long as, as I have, have you, you hear people, people tell you one side of a story, story when, when the, the other, other person, person arrives, arrives then, then the story, the story changes. changes. And, and uh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, um, um, a lot of times lot of people, people have, the have the opportunity to express, to express themselves and say what, what they want to say and get everything, everything off their chest, chest. But, they but they don't realize, realize what, what they're, they're doing, doing is something, something that, that uh, 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 it, it could it affect a lot, a lot of people. people. For, For instance, you mentioned that a lot of people saw on television. Well, Huda TV actually reaches millions of people per second all around the entire world because you guys like us. You're on satellites and you're on uh, different uh, social media. And this is going around the world. So when somebody says, oh, he beat me. Okay, look at those Muslims. They do that. That's why I left Islam. And oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I think uh, 
Say in the words, words, a grain, a grain of, salt. of salt. Just take, take it with a grain of salt. salt. I'm, I'm saying, saying take it with a whole bucket of salt because it's television and uh, people, people get, get real dramatic and say a lot of stuff. stuff. And, then and then when you, you go, go off the air and we, we talk backstage about stuff and they say, oh, well, you know, I thought maybe I'd color it up a little bit. Color it up? Man, you made a whole book of artwork about that. <laughs> and uh, surprise, surprise, that doesn't happen necessarily because the person is evil or wicked, but because of his, the personal assumption. Um, in California, yes, I believe, yes, once I was in California, in a beautiful place I don't have to mention, and uh, a couple or globally, and their separation was a big story, and so on. I mean, so how do you counsel a sheikh in that? So when, when they both say, you know, please, say we're both of us. So I said, we're both of us. And I said, okay, I get each and every one of them an index card. And I say, I just want each one of you to write for major issues that you hold against each other. Major. Don't talk about once we were having dinner and they say what she say or the food was burned. Talk about major issues which definitely require separation. Sheikh Yusuf, they did not write a single point. A yeah, single I, point. Yeah, I figured that's what Index was coming. Index cards were empty. Yeah, 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 Nothing yeah. major. So, so alhamdulillah, we reconcile and they resume the marriage life. And people say, how? 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 Number one, one by excluding the shaitan from the equation. Taking Satan out of the equation. You know, the greatest achievement of shaitan isn't by making you drink. drink or becoming an alcoholic, or even by making a person to commit fornication. Or, or, or all those major sins are not major sins, horrible and punishable. But Shaitan sends his offspring uh, to persuade human beings and to whisper to them when they come by the end of the day reporting to him, I did this, I did that. With every achievement, he says, well, soon he will repent. Soon he may repent, then your achievement will be in vain. Until one of them would say, oh, I persuaded him. And I whispered to him, until I made him divorce his wife. He says, you're my baby. Come and sit with me on the floor. You're my baby. This is quite an achievement. Why? A person who offers the word of divorce once, twice, that's it. Allah says in the Quran, which means the voice is only for wives in the mind of most Muslims, even educated Muslims. They assume that the voice is three times. That is not true. Allah says in the Quran, the voice is twice, which means the first and the second divorce you are still allowed to take her back with the idah. Without, without a new married contract, contract. without, without dowry, without giving the consent, consent because you're still a fisher man. But if you dare to utter the third, she becomes haram for you to touch. touch. Even if you have six kids together, it becomes extremely complicated. So when you're counting, you say, you don't say, I have three times. No, in reality, you only have two, three, four, four. The third is everything. Subhanallah, this is uh, one of the things about Islam that really is an eye-opener to somebody like me who comes from the, the American background, you know, the society here is definitely not the same as Islam at all. When it comes to the subject of divorce, many people, many, many people will say this word over and over, and they're both sides, both sides saying, I'll divorce you, oh, I'll get, divorce you, and, uh, and go through this on a daily basis. In fact, as I was growing up, I heard this uh, word uh, more than once from my parents. And, 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 and as you know, in Islam, it is not required to have documented the writing 
or to grab people and say, or go to the office or the city hall and file for a divorce. No. Once you utter the word of divorce, whether it was serious or as a joke. Because the Prophet said, there are three things, whether you are serious or joking, they are effective and it doesn't make any difference whether you are serious or joking or acting in a fight. So if a couple make in a fight, then it requires a husband to say to his wife, you are divorced. In reality, she is divorced. That's one. You see, again, that is the second. They, they, if you're there, they're saying the third, she's not your wife anymore. Unless if she marries somebody else, very complicated process, as you know. Yeah, yeah, I know that uh, you've, you've probably heard this question before, but let's, uh, let's do this in, for the benefit of our viewers. If somebody is playing the part in a movie or playing the part on a stage, as, as an, an actor, actor and, and there's, and a, there's lady a lady there, there that's representing, representing his wife, but it's but not it's really not his wife. wife. And, and he, he says, I divorce you uh, the, the three, three times in, in somewhere, somewhere in the program. program. What, what would be, be the, the result, result from that? that? What, 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 what that's a vain call. It's ineffective because the news is only for the married couple. If they're not married, so that's a waste. That's a vain call. But, but if it's his, his wife, wife who's playing the part of his wife, wife what about that? Well, as I say, say it, they're, they're both on the stage, stage. and a man yeah. said to his wife, because, because it happens a lot. That's, that's why I brought it up. So, so guess, guess what? what? Whatever you tell this woman who's your wife, wife. if you say you're your wife, like, you know, why I think? A lot of people, when the wife says, I want to divorce, okay, I'm going to divorce. And he thinks, but then he refused the problem. No, he refused marriage. Once you utter the word, it's effective. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. Oh, we were about to skip over the break. Uh, we got to take a break. Oh, okay, guys, listen up. I'm going to put a little short thing up here, and then we're going to be right back with more from Dr. Muhammad Salah. So get your questions ready. And by the way, share, share, share this right now. We'll be right back right after this. So stay tuned and stay guided with Guidance TV. Worship the Creator, not the creation. That's, That's what, what Guidus TV, TV is, is all about. about. And, and now, now we have the new app, app. guideus.app. Download, Download the app, app. And, and it will it take, take up, up no space, space on your on device. device. Works, Works on, on all devices, devices. All, all phones, all tablets, tablets all computers, computers anywhere, anywhere there's, there's internet, internet, it works. works. Mm. And, and there's, there's more. more. If, if you want, you want to, know to know who that creator, creator is, is, if you if want you to want share, share the message of worship the creator, the creator not the creation, the creation, you can, you can just, just as easily tell him. Okay, okay, we're, we're back. back. I, I cut, cut that, that a little, little bit short, short for, for the, benefit the benefit of coming, coming back, back to you real, real quick because we want to utilize every, every single, single minute of the time of Dr. Muhammad Salah because we've got him with us and we can get some really good questions answered right now. And we have so many questions that came in and I don't even really know where to start. And one of them that came today and I, I, several actually, and one of them I'd like to ask you, when someone has this uh, COVID-19 uh, or any of the serious uh, Health, health issues, issues. Let's, let's say, say any, any disease, disease. Okay? okay? So, so and, and they're, they're asking, asking the question, question I'm, I'm on, on the respirator, respirator or, or I've got, got the, you know, the, the thing, thing down, down me and I'm knocked out, out or whatever. whatever. So, so maybe, maybe I wake, I wake up, up and they, they tell me you've been asleep for four days or five days. I didn't make a lot, so what do I do? Well, the time that a person was unconscious is not required to make up the pressure. But if a person was conscious, and then he was sick, but he was unable to pray, and I gotta tell you one thing, when we teach the prayer, and offering the prayers, and making up the prayers, in the books of Sukkah, uh, maybe you will not 
fully aware of the conditions of some sick people. Where I gotta tell you, when I was sick with COVID, every bit of my body was aching from head to toe. So I would drag my feet and then I would say, Allah do Akbar. And I thought that it was easy. Go ahead. All right, All right, we do have a caller here. Let's let's find out. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Mashallah. Who who is who is calling and where are you calling from? Uh, uh, this is Jamal. I'm calling from Queens, New York. Queens, New York. Oh man, I love you guys. Love you so much. You are so inspiring. I love you so much. I cannot believe I'm talking to you. This is, it's just amazing. MashaAllah. Do you have a question for Dr. Mama Salah? Yeah, I just have a question. So, uh, uh, one of my friends is a Christian, so I'm trying uh, to revert him to Islam. I, I show him your uh, videos and then how they do him into Islam and everything. And then he is almost convinced, and then he actually started yesterday to uh, start to read the Quran, and then when he was reading the Quran, he was like, why did Allah enter himself uh, as we in the Quran? And I, I can find the answer, like, I was like, how do I in him? You know, so I was so confused. So I, 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 I have followed you on Facebook, like, it's been a year, maybe. Then, then today I just saw the number, so I thought, let me call you. So I, was, I was thinking maybe there's some team member, but I can't believe I'm talking to you, it's just amazing. Oh, well, uh, with the COVID, <laughs> I think a lot of people are answering their own uh, shows, uh, their own phones, because it's very simple and easy to do that. But uh, to come back to this uh, question, we do have a website. I'm going to ask the question to Dr. Muhammad Salah, but I want you to know that there is a website for exactly what you're talking about. Exactly. exactly. Go, go, go to, to shareislam.com. Shareislam.com. And there are some pictures there. And it tells you uh, what is Islam. What's Islam. All right. Then the next one said God Allah. Click on the one that said God Allah. And yeah. And then, then go to the one, the picture that said God Allah. And that, and that question, question is, is right, right there. there. It, it explains, explains what's, what's called the royal we, but we're going to let um, um, Dr. Dr. Muhammad Salah uh, answer this because he's, he's much better for uh, this, uh, this question, question than myself. So, so let's, let's uh, turn it over to him. him. Dr. Dr. Muhammad Salah, we're, 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 you're back, back on the air with us, and I'd ask you, can you explain to us why Allah uses the plural term we, our, and us, throughout the Quran, and then, and then in the, the same, same sentence, he will say, uh, like, like I, or, or something like, like this. this. Why, why, why is, is this? Simply that is called the way of the we. All the prime ministers, all the governors, uh, you heard the uh, president of the United States, they don't say, I decided, they say, my answer, we decided. And it's only one person. We only know that it's a one man decision. So kings, rulers, and all human beings with very limited ability and a person allows himself to use the role of you. When we address the judge with your honor, okay? And in Arabic, if we address a judge, if we address a ruler, if we address a person, who's out of respect, we use the royal of even though it's he or she. So, it is more worthy that the most glorious, the Almighty Allah uses the glory of we. Yeah, that's uh, 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 I know <laughs> when Sheikh was talking, it, it just dawned on me something. Whenever we say, uh, when we address you as an important person, we'll say Sheikh, right? Okay, yeah. but whenever we say that, we'll say Sheikh Na. Why do Why we do say Sheikh Na? Because, because we're assuming, assuming that all of us are accepting you as our Sheikh, sheikh. our Sheikh, sheikh right? Sheikh Na. But, but, uh, but maybe I didn't take permission from anybody else to say it. I've just said it for myself, right? 
Yeah, yeah. So, so that's, that's why, why that's, that's a, a part, part of the royal we. However, However there, there is, is something in the, in the, in the English, English language, language that, that is, is very, very special, special for us. For us. When, when I, I say, say you, you I am, uh, I'm, I'm talking, talking to you directly. directly. The, the verb, verb that, that I will use assumes the plural. plural. Because, because whenever, whenever I'm, talking I'm talking to a group of people, people I, say, I say, you guys are my friends. friends. Okay? okay? And, and those, those people, people over there, there are my friends. friends. And, and this man is my friend. friend. And, and that, that man, man is my friend, friend. That, that woman is my friend, friend. That, that woman is my sister. sister. And you and see, I'm saying is, is when they're singular, singular. But, but whenever, whenever it's a group, group I say are. And, and but when, when I'm, I'm talking, talking to you, you I, don't I don't say you is, is my friend, friend. I, say I say you are my friend. friend. And, also and also when, when I, say I say I am, I don't say I is, and I don't say I are. I say I am, and that's a special royal Uh, the treatment, treatment of the, of the verb, verb at saying I, I am, am. All, right? all right? So, so just, just explain to him that that's the way the language is, is and this is a royal plural, plural. And, and as the sheikh was, was saying that a king will say, we, we are not, not amused, amused. We, we declare the following, following. And, and the decree of the king is final, and we certify that. And that's simple, and it has nothing more than that. And, and, and um, well, well, I, I, want, I want, you want you to uh, share, this share this with him because as a Christian, Christian he should know that that, that same thing is in the Bible. Bible. And, and the, 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 the Bible, Bible that's, that's why the Christians, Christians will say that the, 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 uh, the royal, the, they, they don't, don't talk, talk about, about the royal we. They, they will say, say oh, that's, that's because uh, Jesus, Jesus and God and the Spirit and all together, together and they're, they're saying, saying we. No, 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 no. That's the royal we. And the, in the Hebrew, because it's translated from Hebrew, okay? The Hebrew is like the Arabic. They are Semitic languages and they have the same root. Uh, regarding, regarding this, this topic. topic. Okay? okay. Got it? Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. You only paid for one question. Uh, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, can I, is that the number? Like, whenever we need the best, can we call or? Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. you can, can call this call number this anytime, 24, 24 hours a day. And, and if you and don't, if you get, don't an get an answer, answer you, can you can always uh, leave, a leave a message. And if that's uh, filled up, up, you can write, write to us. us. I'm, I'm going to put, put this up on the screen, screen right, right now. If you're, if you're watching, watching us, us, you can write, write this down. It's contact at guideus.tv. Be sure it's not .com, it's .tv guideus.tv so put contact c-o-n-t-a-c-t at the the a with the circle around it and then after that you put up the the rest of it which is uh, guideus.tv okay contact at guideus.tv all right i just want to let you know you're doing this kind of amazing job i really appreciate it like you are so terrific mashallah i cannot believe i'm talking to you really like It's been a year, I've been watching your videos on YouTube and following uh, Facebook and all that. Also, I'm a big fan of Dr. 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 So, I've been uh, having a debate with the uh, missionaries on, on the church and all that. MashaAllah. Well, actually, Dr. Muhammad Salah, Dr. Muhammad Salah and myself, we've been with Dr. Zakir Knight several times, many times actually, and uh, we've had some great times with him. He is a very special person. MashaAllah. Yeah. And also, I tell you a story. How did you, uh, how did you came in? Now you live in New York now, but but where are you originally from? Originally, I'm from Pakistan, from Lahore. Ah, Pakistan, sir. Ah. Masha Allah. Uh, 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 
Well, it's, it's great, great to have you, have you with, with us, and, and I'm, I'm so, so happy, happy that, that you got, got the, your, your question, question answered, answered properly. properly. I, I think, think Dr. Dr. Muhammad Salah is the, the best, best to do those. Thank you so much. Thank you, my dear brother. Appreciate it. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, well, we have uh, another question, and this is a very serious one. It's the one that uh, in the break I was telling you I had forgotten, but I remember it now. Alhamdulillah. This, the question is regarding something that uh, uh, for an elder person, somebody who is uh, elder, and they receive help, assistance in their medical needs, there, I think, I think that they, they were saying, saying something, something like, like uh, between two thousand uh, dollars and four thousand dollars a month, or something like that. that. But, but they would, they would, they would have, have to die, die if they had to get, to get it because they don't have that kind of money. money. So, so the government, government gives them X amount of dollars to, or a percentage, or a percentage of their prescriptions and a percentage of what they do. And sometimes they pay just a, like $10 or $15, they go to the clinic uh, twice a week. And, and even then it's hard for them. So, but when they go on the social security, then the government is gonna help with more, but there's still gonna be a large part of that that they can't handle that they, they could, could buy, buy insurance, insurance now for that, that and they, they won't, won't have to require to give all, all of the, the like, like if, if you have, have existing this and that and so and so, uh, you, you won't, won't have, have to do that. that. You can just, you just get, get your, your insurance, insurance now, now. You, can you can pay for that. that. It, it's, it's something, something you elect, elect. You, you have to choose to accept it, then you have to pay it. But then in a year from now, when the person becomes, was 65, and, and then, then after, after that, that they, they will, will not, not ask, ask any questions, questions what's, what's pre-existing. Pre so, so because, because I know I you've had background, background in pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical, you know, a medicine and so on, and so on. Uh, what, uh, what would you advise? advise? This is a Muslim, Muslim convert to Islam. Islam. What, what would, would you advise them? them? Can they, they even do it? it? Because it's insurance, which is like gambling, but without it, they may not be able to get what they need. What would, you, what would your advice be? I was, uh, I was always under the impression that since the Obama's administration, the health care plan has become obligatory on every American citizen or resident to uh, subscribe to the national public health care uh, program. No. Correct? No. And if you, do, and if you don't, then uh, you would have to pay some sort of penalty. No. no, this is my impression. No, no, uh -uh. Uh -huh. no. no. But, uh, but, uh, but you would not, not be able to get the. You can, you can still go in and, and get, get pay, for pay for whatever, whatever it is. is. And, and uh, uh, also, also they, they, they have, have something, something now, now called uh, GoodRx.com. GoodRx.com. Yeah, yeah, I, I found, found that in my own condition, condition where I had, I had uh, allergies, allergies to something, something and I, it, the, the medicine, medicine was expensive, expensive and, I and I couldn't afford, afford it. it. So, so I, I went into, into the, the, doctor the doctor gave me a prescription, prescription. I went into, into the, the pharmacy, pharmacy and I presented, I presented that, that and, and they, they said it's, it's going to be like $45 and I said, I know, I said, I have to give it back to you because it was only like four pills and I said, that's there's, there's no, no way, way. I, I just gave it back, back and I just turned around to leave and they, the, 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 the pharmacist, pharmacist went, to went to the clerk who was there and he said, said tell him about Rx. Rx. And, and I turned around and I said, what is that? that? He said, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you myself. myself. And he and took me aside. He said, listen, go, go to goodrx.com and you will find the same medication right there. And then just tell me what you got. He said, let, let me, me do it, it for, for you. you. And he <laughs> just did it, and he, and he lowered, lowered the price, price right away for me. For me. And, and I said, I said oh, oh, thank you so much. much. Thank, thank you so much. much. And, and uh, uh, I wound up paying so eight or nine dollars. I paid eight or nine dollars for the thing that was 40 something dollars, so, yeah. Well, I gotta admire the system in Europe. It's much better because you're resident, you're a citizen, even if you're not a citizen. Everything medically is covered. You just walk into the hospital, you'll be treated like everybody else. Medication is absolutely for uh, for free, and this is how it should be because 
on one hand, you're charging me a lot of taxes, so at least you provide me with the proper health care. If I don't have, I shouldn't buy, simply because I don't have. You know, you should look after your own citizens. And it's very unfortunate that is also happening in the Muslim countries. Um, um, you know, the time that my dad spent in the hospital, it caused over 100 games. And um, it was only a couple of weeks. And uh, you gotta pay cash. So I'm not saying that, uh, you know, in, in other countries, it's much better. But what I'm saying is, that those who are in charge for the affairs of people should really think about their welfare, well-being, not only for the food and the lodging, but also the medication, especially those who cannot afford it. We all know that the commercial insurance, besides it is haram, it's a rip-off. Okay, it is, <laughs> but they are not making it easy for us. <laughs> the you know, before it's I told them, before I told them, because you asked a question earlier before our caller from New York about if a person during COVID was in coma and was unconscious. So we didn't finish the answer. I want the viewers to see that statement and uh, believe it is as. And that's it. No, no. We're talking about several days of unconsciousness, of coma, or when the person was in the CPAP and or the uh, ventilator or life support, and he's gone. So if this matter was, yeah, I can say more than six prayers, you don't have to make them up. But if it was a few hours, if it was a day or two, the issues when you recover, you make them up. But that is the God. You don't have to make them up. That is because the fact that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, says a person who is under the age of puberty is not required to do any of the obligatory acts of worship. If he does, he will be alerted. Uh, uh, and then a person who happened to be a many, even temporarily. So by analogy, if a person was unconscious, was unaware of what is going on, for several days, this person would not ask him to make up the business crisis. Because as you know, that sometimes it happens for you for a day, you go ahead and make them up. Okay? You missed a couple of prayers. And I would like to add, everyone, who is set is entitled to enjoy the position of joining two prayers at the time of either one of them. Two prayers would share the same time in simple English. If you sit like when I was, as I said, I would drag my feet to make them move. And then I used to pray while sitting down. So, okay, because when I take the medication, I'm gone. So, what I do is join Dora and Asr together. MashaAllah. Well, with that, we got to roll out, guys. MashaAllah. But let's be sure to make your calendar tell you that Thursday night we'll be back again with more questions and answers. And then next Saturday again for more questions and answers with Dr. Muhammad Salah. Doctor, thank you so much. JazakAllah khair. Tell everybody to stay guided with. Guided. TV. Bye.